Good morning, everybody out there. Uh, it's been a little while since y'all saw my pretty smiling face, so here I am. Uh, it just occurred to me that Instagram cuts off pictures, so I screenshotted one of my policies that I updated, and it's not really good. So I'm going to delete that post, and I'm going to post this video up to Instagram since it's more video and picture-oriented, and I'm going to also put this on my YouTube channel. So this is for anybody who wants to do business with Stevie's Automotive Incorporated. Uh, we're now incorporated. We used to be LLC. Now we're incorporated. Um, so as of 10-24-2023, I'm, I'm reading. Okay. Um, merchant fees. Merchant fees are a part of everything nowadays. Uh, go out to the restaurants. They add it. Uh, vendors, you know, they add them. Uh, I've been adding them since... October 21st, 2022, uh, because I'm not going to absorb that. Um, a lot of people say that's the cost of doing business. I don't. Uh, I'm a small one-man operation most of the time. I'm not going to absorb 4% uh, on a $4,000 invoice. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to pass it on. Um, if you guys have a problem with that, please tell me up front, um, and we will find another way for me to make sure I get paid and you need to feel like you didn't pay those fees. Read between the lines. Um, so all merchant fees, doesn't matter what it is. PayPal, Zelle, no more sending money to a personal account. None of that. Um, I'm not getting in trouble with the IRS, putting my neck on the line uh, to try and save guys money. I'm not doing that. I haven't done that. And I'm not going to do that, so please don't ask. Um, payment policy. Th this kind of goes without saying. I, Steve Allencourt, I expect to be paid within seven days for my services. Um, a lot of times, a lot of the work around here is sublet, machine work, especially. Um, windshields. Uh, body work, if I choose to do so. Uh, rust, repair, panels, if I choose to do so. That's sublet. So that means I don't get an exact price on it up front unless it's something I do every day, like machine work. So I can't, you know, I have to get enough money to cover that. So seven days means I write you an invoice on October 1st. It's dated October 1st. So that would be October 8th. The invoice is due in full, um, complete. That doesn't mean the vehicle has to leave here. It doesn't mean the engine has to be shipped or trans or whatever. But it means I need to be paid for it in full. On the eighth day, we're going to start finance charges and late fees. Because I'm a small one-man operation and cash flow is paramount. Um, I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Um, if you can't do this, we need to talk about this upfront before the invoice is done. Um, you know, All final payments will either be a certified check, no personal checks, Cash is fine. Don't ask for a discount with cash. I don't do that. Um, if you want to pay with a personal check, you're going to pay before the car is picked up and the check is going to be cleared. I don't play any games. Um, not letting anything out of here without it being paid for in full. I've done that to a few people over the years and every single time I haven't got paid. Imagine that. Okay. Um, thank you all. I'm blessed. I have a lot of customers. Thank you. Demand for my service is extreme. Thank you, guys. Most of y'all are patient. Thank you. Um, the workload is still heavy in 2023, and the turnaround time is still slow, although I'm making great strides with machine work. It's just taking a long time to catch up. Deposits. Every job is going to have a deposit. That's the way it is. I'm not taking your money and going on a cruise with it. I'm not taking your money and going to buy myself something. I'm taking your money and I'm buying your parts. I'm not taking your money and paying for this guy's parts right here and then getting the next guy to pay for his parts. I don't do that. But you need a deposit up front and that is generally 50% of the invoice or at my discretion. Build times, one man operation. Generally it's 12 to 18 months around here um, on a full car build. That's a guesstimate. That's not a promise. That doesn't mean on the 19th month that I'm in trouble because I'm not. If it takes two years, it does. If it takes three years, it does. But I'm going to communicate with you along the way. Stuff happens. It won't just be something you're not expecting. Carry out stuff is faster.
stock engines are faster. Stroker engines take a long time. Um, if your car is a daily driver, I'm not your customer. Uh, I'm not your, your builder. I don't want to deal with a car that's 40, almost 40 years old and is antique. Uh, and every time it farts, you get a text or a phone call. I had one of these. I'm not doing it again. I daily drive these cars. I know how finicky they are. They're very reliable cars sometimes. Sometimes. But the closer they get from stock, the more, the more issues they have. Rust. I'm done. Don't bring your rusty cars to Stevie's Automotive Incorporated. No more T-top repairs. None. Uh, no rusty frames. No rusty floor pans. Not repairing them. I'm not subletting them. I'm just not doing it. Too much liability. Okay. Um, if I get into a T-top repair and it's got major rust, I might bow out. And I'm letting you guys know that I have that option. I'm not bound to it. Okay, there have been exceptions for rust along the years. Uh, scaly rust that's not structural is fine, but I have to make that decision. And again, I'm fair. Uh, these are old cars. New parts doesn't mean good parts. I see this all the time. Sometimes marginal parts in 1987 are reproduced and they're worse in 2023. Sometimes they're better, but I'm only one guy and I can't be held liable for parts. If I install it, I make sure it's done right. And if it's not done right, I redo it and I inspect it. I don't put cars out of here with 10 miles on an engine. Uh, I do stand behind my work when there's issues and there's issues. There's plenty of issues. Um, not interested in your toys, your alarms, your backup cameras, your mood lighting. If they're in the way of what I need to do, an example, like removing a dash and they have to be disturbed and they don't work right when I'm done with it. I'm sorry, but they were in a way for the job I needed to do. This isn't Steve V's automotive auto sound. It's Steve V's automotive. Uh, most of the stuff I've seen behind that stuff, other shops, has been a crappy install. I've, you know, it doesn't seem to be that hard. Now, I do have a car here um, that I'm going to put an alarm in, but I'm doing it from scratch. Uh, and I do have some here that I fix. I've been able to figure it out. It's very time consuming. I can refuse to work on your car for any reason. Um, sorry, I'm not that guy. I'm easy to get along with, but I can say no, and I will say no um, if the situation warrants. You know, if I get a car from some other vendor or an issue from another vendor, a builder, whatever, who's in the Buick community, generally I'll reach out to that vendor and say, why is so-and-so coming to me? And a lot of times the shop builder vendor will say, this is why, this is what happened, and then I'll make my decision as to how I'm going to work on it. Um, I've worked on a lot of cars behind a lot of other people and very rarely have I said no to another vendor. Um, the old C would bash the vendor on Facebook. I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, that was wrong. I shouldn't do that. So this is kind of where I stand in 2023. Um, this is a document that's going to be printed. This is a document that's going to be emailed. Uh, it's going to require a signature and it's going to be kept on file. It covers everything that covers me in my business uh, I've been here for six and a half years now um, I have plenty of work I do everything that's that paint and body I do too much honestly I, I'd like to scale back and just do carry out engines transmissions a few cars um, easy stuff you know stuff that's fun not stuff that's uh, monotonous and troublesome um, I don't see that happening next year, but it might in the future. So here's a long-winded video for you guys to hear where my policies are today. So if you watch this whole video, you made it to the end. Thanks, guys. Have a great day and a great Western 2023, and thank you for supporting my business.